The power available from a brush motor is limited by the heat generated in the resistance of the rotor coils. It is difficult to dissipate this heat because of the long thermal path from the coils, across the air gap, through the stator magnets and the motor housing. The commutator and the brushes also limit the performance and they are subject to mechanical wear. To solve these problems, we need to eliminate the mechanical commutator and to keep the windings on the stator. This way, heat escapes easily. We can do this by using our motor with a rotating magnet and fitting it with an electronic commutator. This gives us the third of our motor types, the brushless servo. The electronic commutator must do the same job as its mechanical counterpart. In other words, reverse the current in the coils as the magnet rotates. We use a commutation encoder, a device which measures the position of the rotor and can be used to switch the coil current to keep the rotor rotating in the same direction. By using a high resolution encoder, the same device can be used to provide speed and position feedback for the servo controller. Very often, a resolver is used instead of an encoder. As it rotates, a simple brushless motor will suffer from the same torque variation as its brush equivalent. Unfortunately, it is not so easy to add extra coils to the brushless motor as this would lead to a very complex drive system. Normally, two or three windings are used, which is not sufficient to eliminate the torque ripple. However, we can compensate for the torque modulation by driving the coils with currents, which vary in a sinusoidal fashion. This results in virtually constant torque from the motor with a negligible ripple. The typical brushless servo motor uses a traditional or slotted lamination, which consists of a series of teeth with slots between the teeth. In the slotless design, the slotted lamination has been replaced by a ring lamination, which eliminates the presence of slots on the inside of the stator. The fundamental difference between the slotless and slotted designs is that the slotless design has both a larger rotor diameter, therefore a larger rotor inertia, and a lower winding inductance. Because the stator windings are no longer wound in slots around steel cores inside the stator, as they are in the conventional design, there is now more space available to accommodate a larger rotor diameter. The larger rotor creates the opportunity to incorporate more magnet material on the rotor. The lower winding inductance occurs because there is no steel core to interfere with the inductance field which develops around the windings. Benchmark testing has shown that, in general, when compared to a conventional slotted design of the same size, the slotless motor will produce the same torque for the same input power. Furthermore, the fact that slot insulating material no longer needs to consume such a disproportionate amount of space for a given stator size, 10 to 20 percent greater torques can be achieved in same size motors less than one and three quarter inch in diameter. The faster, easier, and less costly method of applying motor windings without winding inside of the lamination also creates several performance advantages. The torque angle curves are highly sinusoidal, which allows very constant and uniform torques to be generated within the motor. The slotless motor has very low magnetic saturation, which enables the motor to be operated at several times its rated power for short intervals, without any torque roll-off at the higher power levels. This design also has no detent or cogging torque. Detent torque is an inherent magnetic torque that produces no net shaft power and is actually a torque disturbance to the control system. Elimination of the detent torque simplifies the requirements of the control system, allows smoother operation, and reduces velocity ripple in precision low speed applications. This design also has lower magnetic losses within the motor, resulting in higher efficiencies and, consequently, higher speeds for the system. As mentioned earlier, the slotless design has a larger diameter rotor than the slotted design, resulting in a higher inertia. Depending upon the application, this may be an advantage or a disadvantage. For applications where the load has a very small inertia and requires high acceleration, the slotted design has an advantage. 
For many applications requiring smooth low-speed operation or constant velocity operations, the higher inertia coupled with the features previously discussed will result in superior performance. Furthermore, in applications using large inertial loads and compliant or springy couplings, the larger rotor inertia helps stabilize the system by lowering the natural frequency inherent in this spring mass system. This last characteristic greatly reduces the tuning difficulties common to such an application. When the motor diameter exceeds three inches, the additional cost of the rotor magnet material begins to offset the savings gained by the simplified slotless design. To address the issue of simplifying manufacturing and reducing costs in the larger motors, a second motor design called the bridged design has been developed. This design is called bridged due to the bridge between the teeth on the inside diameter of the lamination where the slot opening traditionally exists. This bridge gives the design some advantages when compared to the conventional slotted design. Using the vibration of this tuning fork to illustrate the excitation of the teeth in a slotted stator. The bridges between the tooth tips and the bridged design help stiffen the teeth, reducing any excitation movement caused by intrinsic magnetic forces. In addition, because the toothed lamination and the outer ring are two separate pieces, no bending moments can be transferred from the tooth to the outer ring portion of the lamination. Both of these bridged properties reduce the generation of mechanical noise within the motor. Furthermore, the bridge between the teeth also reduces the detent torque in the motor by 50% when compared to the conventional design.